Oklahoma State. Right here, you're watching Sooner Football 99. Welcome to Sooner Football 99. I'm Steve Newman, along with the head coach of the Sooners, Bob Stoops. And Bob, 44-7, to a great way for the seniors to end their home career at Oklahoma. Really was fitting for them, Steve. It was a good team victory. Our seniors, it was great to send them out with a good victory. And, and really, across the board, uh, really played pretty well. Uh, you look at the game, and offense puts 31 points on the board. Uh, special teams puts a touchdown on, the, touchdown on the board, along with our defense puts a touchdown on the board. So... That, along with um, uh, defense, being able to shut them out, keep them, mm -hmm. keep them from getting an offensive touchdown. And here's a team that put 41 points on us the year before. On our, you know, the year before scores 41 on us and be able to shut them out of the game is, really shows, it shows you the progress we've made throughout the season and, and really happy for our seniors to go out that way. And, of course, we'll talk about it later. But now we've been not talking about bowls on this show, but now we can say we're going to a bowl. We just don't know where. Uh, that's uh, pretty obvious. Uh, there's, uh, it, it, it'll be somewhere. Mm -hmm. And like I told the players in the locker room, we've been to a few bowl games, and myself as a head coach and other guys, uh, um, I, I've been involved in some. Uh, I don't know how, how many exactly, but I told them, I said, I've been to many, and I've never been to a bad one. So uh, <laughs> it'll, be, it'll be excellent. It'll be a great experience for our players. It'll be good for uh, – it'll be another month of practice, uh, yeah. which – We'll have fun with it, but we'll be able to develop some young players and, and keep our, uh, you know, our, our starters in there as well to continue to build confidence and, and continuity in what we're doing. But it, what's good about it, it's almost like another spring practice for our young players to be able to develop them. That's a great thing to have happen this time of year, isn't it? it it'll give us a big boost going into next year. It, it really will, So uh, as well as recruiting season's coming up this week. Right. So it, it shows you where our program is progressing and where we're headed with it. And it'll be great going into recruiting season right, right away this week. Okay, well, you don't want to miss this playback show. Oklahoma 44, Oklahoma State 7. We'll be after it right after this. Bob, as we roll the tape, we need to mention we were undefeated as far as good weather this year. It was oh, incredible. Another beautiful day, near about 70 degrees, yeah. uh, pure sunshine the entire day. And uh, you couldn't, couldn't ask for a better day to play football. There's the Don Key Award winner, Rodney Rideau. Rodney, very deserving of the Don Key Award. has been a tremendous leader for our team the entire year. And uh, since the day we walked in here, and happy for Rodney and happy for all of our seniors. Uh, there they are. All are with all their families, and it was uh, fun to see them out there enjoying the moment. All 19 of them. And we kick it in the end zone. Start off with a big kick by Tim. He was all fired up, booted it out of the end zone, and here we start off with the boot play. We sent our players out, and the first thing we told them is look for a misdirection play right off the bat, and they don't listen to us sometimes. So anyway, they get a big gain, and uh, we tackle them anywhere near, near midfield, and then we're able to stop them after this. There's a good run defense there. Roy Williams coming up with a big, strong tackle. Roy Williams had 14 tackles. Had a good day. Here they throw a play down the middle, and he drops it, and then William Bartiz closing on him. Third and ten. Third and ten. They throw a little slant over the middle, and we come up and break it up. That's William Bartiz with a nice break up and force a punt. So Elder will punt uh, 40 yards and uh, downs it on the three, but there was a 15-yard uh, personal foul penalty against Oklahoma State, so it helps us out a little bit. Sure, we'll take those personal fouls. They want to play undisciplined, we'll take it. That just got us off the goal line, and we start off with a really a, a very poor play, poor handoff and poor communication, and give them the ball right down in great field position, and we got a blitz on and force them into a bad play, and we get the ball right back. That's our Mon Spence coming up with the fumble recovery, and Roy Williams, I believe, was blitzing off the edge that helped create the fumble. Here's a little screen play. Brandon Daniels goes tearing up the middle for a big game. See that one again. So here we fake the ball to the running back, kind of drawing the linebackers up and give the ball to Brandon, and he does an excellent job of running. 
Good blocking out there by Trent. Trent Smith and Curtis Fagan. After a false start, we have first and 15 at 37. Throw a little flat route out there to Seth Luttrell, and he gets up field for 16. Really a nice run after the catch. After a holding penalty, we have first and 14 at the 49. Try reverse, and if we get one guy blocked, we're off to the races. And just didn't get that one edge player blocked, and he sort of tied us up and and uh, him to play up a little bit. Second and 18. Zone play there to think Josh Norman up inside, but we don't get much there. Third and 21 after another uh, false start. Here they come with the blitz, and uh, Josh does a nice job escaping it, able to avoid the sack and get the ball out. But too much pressure there forces a, forces a punt. Jeff Ferguson had an excellent day punting. I believe he averaged 43 yards a punt. All right. Good job here. It kicks it further than they expected. I don't believe their returner, Richardson, knew where he was at and caught the ball inside the five. And great coverage there. Michael Thompson making the tackle and good run defense there. Got him pinned inside the five on second and nine. Little play action pass. They run a crossing route and bobbles it around and able to come up with the ball. Third and nine. Well, I, I guess yeah, they, they called that called incomplete. incomplete. He yeah. did, did bounce off. And we missed a tackle right there that would have prevented the first down, and he's able to run for the first down there. So that was frustrating on third down. Thought we had him hemmed up and just didn't make the tackle. Good defense there. William Barty, they throw a little pass. Actually, they throw a pass and lose a couple of yards. That's correct. Second down play. Come with an option. Really played the option well all day. Rodney would go with the big hit up in there for just a couple of yards. Rodney had 14 tackles. They called him for a slight, they had a five-yard face mask right there, which made it second down and short. Right. So they have a first and ten here. They run a play-action pass and throw the ball over the middle and well defended. Roy Williams, if he had thrown that ball up, that ball was thrown in the dirt, I think Roy would have intercepted it. Here they run another boot play and covered well. Force him to run, and Rodney and Corey Callens come up there and make the tackle. Third and three. I guess that was Roy Williams and Corey. Little draw play. Again, you got Rodney Rideau and Roy Williams with the tackle. And they had a holding penalty there, so it's third and 11. We got a blitz on. Everybody coming after him. And, and uh, Corey Heineken gets the sack. Here you can see Torrance Marshall pressures him up inside first. Good contain on the edge. That's Roger Steffen containing him, and you see Corey Heineke coming in from the backside with the sack. So good pressure. Really, all day we had great pressure. Mm -hmm. So it was fourth and 25. Great field position. Defense, uh, you know, hold them back there on their end of the field, force a bad punt, and give our offense the ball to 35 going in. Excellent run again by Quentin. You watch Quentin here. He's hard to get a hold of. And get the guy right there, get a couple of guys, get a hit on him. He gets low, takes it on, great battles through, and keeps pushing. Yards after the first hit. Second and three. Here they back off, and we throw the ball downfield to Brandon Daniels, get the ball inside to the three. Watch Josh here. Good protection. Sees him down the middle, sticks the ball right in his chest, and... Good job getting the ball upfield. 24-yard gain, first and goal. Throw a little hitch route there to Brandon Daniels, and we just get a blocker out in front of him and get it in the end zone. Good play. Nice play by Josh and Brandon. See a nice block here by Seth Luttrell out there. Three plays, 34 yards. Oklahoma on the board first, then Tim Duncan for the extra point. We'll be back with second quarter action in just two minutes. Second quarter action, second and seven for the Cowboys. They throw a little swing pass here. Roy Williams saw it right away and lose yardage again. Good, good play by Roy. He saw this coming all the way and gets upfield, makes a nice open field tackle. Loss of two, third and 12. Here you can see we're going to come from a, with a blitz from the boundary. And uh, they run a quarterback draw, and our guys are sitting there looking at it. And 
That's fine. We'll give them five or six yards and force a punt. Little nice punt drives it sort of over our returner's head and uh, puts it in the end zone. So we've got the ball first and ten. Try a little trap play up inside. Uh, and they, they were blitzing, had everybody up in there, stuff it pretty good. Come back, and uh, really a poor play on Josh's part. Uh, we throw it right to him, and uh, and uh, Josh usually sees that, avoids that kind of a play, and and uh, really a play to put them in the game, gave them a lot of momentum, and uh, we're able to come back from it. So they had kicked it out of bounds. We pick it up first and 10 on 35. Hit a nice crossing route here to Damian Mackey, and he takes off with a nice run. Watch that one again. There they're blitzing again. Great job. Great protection by our offensive line. They blitzed it really all day. Only had two sacks. And, uh, you know, we threw more than anybody the entire season, and, and we had the fewest sacks the entire year. So uh, it's good, great, great protection by our offensive line. First and ten. Again, they come with the blitz, and Josh almost avoids it, and they make a nice play and get the sack and throw the Rips the ball out, it goes out of bounds. We're lucky there, and we come back with the screen, and they defend it well. So we have a third and real long. Yeah, it was about third and 20 some. Mm -hmm. You want to be smart about what you do. We threw it over the middle. They had it covered well, and at least we're, uh, unfortunately, we're punting. Good Jeff high did. kick. Yeah. Jeff did a nice job hanging the ball up high. You know, they, they were, had a good return, and I think we limited him to three to six yards of return, which was uh, which was excellent. Second and 11. Nice pressure again. You see us coming off the edge there with the blitz. That's Roy Williams, I believe, gets him from the backside. He had take, no time. No, we were taking. We wanted to take away their boot at, boot and play action passes and put pressure on them. And third down, they run a draw play, and again we'll give them five or six on a on a third and 15 and. Hopefully force a punt. Elder punts 41 yards. And we were just a block or two off on a few of our returns. And see there, still great field position. 55 yards from the uh, goal. And got a little hitch out to Jarrell Jackson. Picks up a couple, second and eight. Little hand sweep there to Reggie Skinner. Does a nice job getting it upfield and powering through the run, uh, the tackler. We pick up fourth and one here. Fourth and one, and Seth does a great job powering forward to, to get the first down. Here we go, throwing a little curl route. Stick it in there to Jarrell Jackson. Again, picks up eight or nine. Josh had an excellent day. He was 22 of 32. For 287 yards and, uh, you know, just a, a strong day. Outside of the one play, you know, the one play that we gave them, but outside of that, uh, really had an excellent day against them. Second one. Nice job. Gets the ball out to Brandon Daniels, and he gets upfield for good yardage. First and ten. Here, they're blitzing left and right. They're picking it up. Josh is getting the ball out, gets it out to Chris Hammonds. Really a nice drive. Here they come again with the blitz, and we stick it up inside. Good job by Quentin running, but really a poor job. He's trying to get extra yard and sticking the ball out there and loses it. And fortunately, we recover it, and here we are throwing another flat route. To Brandon Daniels gets the ball down inside the five. Second down. And there's Seth pounded it in from the five. A really good running and great drive right there on them. And they're trying to blitz left and right, and we're just picking it up, moving the ball, and there you see Seth the throw. That's a big hole, and Seth just powers through it for the touchdown. Really good job blocking by our offensive line. Really moved them out of the way, and and uh, excellent job. Excellent drive right there. Ten plays, 55 yards. If we take a lead, we will never relinquish. Good kickoff there, uh, Tim kicks, sticks the ball down in the deep corner, and there's Michael Jackson, another senior coming up, a wide receiver on our kickoff cover team. Pins him inside the 10. Great pressure again, we got a blitz on, Corey Collins and Roger Steffen with the sack. 
Big play there. Second down. Stuff the belly play. Watch that one again. Good run defense, uh, really all day. They really didn't amount to much running the football. And here we got them in third and extra long again, and we're going to come after them. Here we come off the edges, and they throw a little out route, which wouldn't have mounted to the first down anyway, so force another punt. Force 10 punts in the game. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exceptional, really. You can force someone to punt the ball 10 times. That's... Uh, when you consider how many possessions on the average a game? Oh, yeah. Usually, I don't know, 15 maybe. So that's uh, that's, that's not excellent. leaving many. Yeah. Nice curl route. Stick it in there again, moving the ball. Throw a little flat route out there to Quentin. He gets it upfield. I believe he's short of the first down, though. All right. Forces us into a punting situation. Again, Jeff hangs it up there high, forces another fair catch. They start off with an option here on the 20-yard line. Really, again, defended pretty well. He missed the tackle, and he sneaks upfield for about five. Second down play. Again, good pressure off the edge, and we just missed the tackle, but here come the troops. We've got a bunch of guys, uh, Rocky Kalmus in there and making the tackle. Rocky with uh, eight tackles with a broken leg. Not bad, Bob. Great courage on his part to come out and play and able to contribute to the win. So we have a... They dink the ball there for a few yards, and here we come with another blitz, and there's Rocky and coming off the edge, and Torrance Marshall off the front side and forces a poor throw and goes right to Mike Woods, and Mike makes a nice interception there at the end of the half. End the half and it's Going at half, the halftime, 14 to 7, not bad. Big halftime to show you right after this. Stay with us. Bob, while you were in talking strategy at halftime yesterday, we celebrated the 25th and 24th anniversaries of two back-to-back -back national champions. Let's go to the tape, and we'll look at that. It was a great time. Steve Davis, the quarterback for Oklahoma, who only lost one game as a three-year starter. That's Incredible. amazing. It was fun to fun to see and meet many of those guys and great teams and Tinker Owens. A bunch of great players and great coaches, assistant coaches and certainly head coach and Barry Switzer. So guy you can't forget there, Dewey Selman. <laughs> certainly a pretty good player. <laughs> a little good. Love to have a bunch of those guys back some more. Well, little Joe still looks like he can run, but uh the fans just uh, really, uh, really gave them a great ovation, of course. There's Coach Switzer. Switzer going out. Yeah, it's fun to have all those guys back and around. I guess there was over 80, 80 to 85 players back right. for the reunion and uh, talking to many of them. They had a great time. Look at that lineup of players, past players. And it was a memory for not only those players, but also the fans to get to, you know, relive moments and, and get to experience it once again with these guys. It was just a great time. Those are great moments, and there's nothing wrong with uh, reliving them, and that uh, was fun to have all of them back this week. And what was really neat is the fact we're not just reliving moments, we're making new moments, Bob, uh, all the way through this year. Well, that's what we intend to do. We, we want to continue to help, uh, help build this program, build on the great tradition that's here, and uh, we're doing our best, and at least we've got to start. You bet. 14-7 at halftime, but I felt as though you were in control of the game. Am we, I we felt that way as well. Uh, we knew we had given them one play, and outside of that, uh, defensively had shut them out the entire half. They really hadn't done anything on offense whatsoever. And offensively, we were moving the football, able to throw it, and still even had some decent yards running the ball. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just needed to take care of the football, uh, eliminate them from having any big plays, make some big plays on our own. We had talked about that, that we could come up with some big plays the way they were trying to defend us. And if we did that, we'd be in good shape and uh, come out the first half or the second half there in the third play, come up with a 76-yard pass. And that's exactly what happened. And that sort of broke open the game. And, and then after that, defense scores a touchdown, the special team scores a touchdown, and, and uh, all of a sudden it was uh, a runaway. But. You mentioned Rocky Kalmus' great courage. What did his going in the game, I guess, what, the second possession on defense, what did it mean to the rest of the team? Well, I think it just showed, and Rocky's not the only guy. We've had a number of guys that have played through injuries. Uh, we don't talk about it much because we'll never give our players a crutch, but 
We've had some players that have been banged up throughout the year that have fought through it. Jeremy Wilson and Barry Holloman, and, uh, and we've got a bunch of guys that have fought through. Rodney Rideau's been banged up with his ankle all year, and Mike Woods didn't practice the whole week because of a uh, turf toe. And we, we've had a bunch of guys that have had, had to fight through injuries and play. And, and uh, you know, Mike Woods has a broken thumb that right. continues to play. So we've got a lot of guys. And uh, so anyway, but uh, it, it was a boost. We just let all the players know that you can go. And there's a way that you're not going to re-injure yourself or, or hurt yourself anymore. If you can go and help the team win, you need to get out there and find a way to do it. And uh, that was the attitude of our team really throughout the year, and certainly Rocky coming out there in this game helped. Well, this second half, you want to stay with us because there are 30 more points to show you. They all belong to Oklahoma. And we're one block away right there. We're just, Brandon needed to cut that ball up inside. I think we'd had another nice game, but still get it out to the 25. That, that's a good pickup. Here we try a little swing pass to Quentin, and their defensive end falls off and tips the ball away. Another lead play up inside, and they got a bunch of guys standing up in there and get a few yards, but they stuff it decently. Third and eight. Here they come blitzing everybody, and we pick it up. You see, there isn't anybody within about eight yards of Josh, and heck, there's nobody even near. You see Curtis Fagan gets so wide open. Josh puts it right in his chest, and uh, night, well executed play. Nice pick up here. You see us pick up the blitz, wad them all up. Nobody's near Josh, and Curtis is about five yards behind their defender. And uh, big pick up, about a 76 yard play, and that's the way to start the second half. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that's exactly the way to start. Just what we talked about at halftime, that we can get a few big plays on, on them, the way they're defending us, and we need to be able to pick them up and, and just get the ball to them, and sure enough, that's exactly what happened on the third play. So Oklahoma had 21-7, Tim Duncan kicking off again. Nice job by Coach Mangino's O-line picking up the blitz and them seeing the fact that it was going to be open. Right, and, and they weren't anywhere close to it. No, I took advantage of it uh, really, uh, really quite well. And here they come off, got it sort of defended, but uh, we had a blitz on to where they were rolling and just didn't get to get there in time. And they did a nice job hitting the tight end, pick up some yards. And then we uh, come with the blitz, tip the ball. Second and 10. Second and 10, come with another blitz, and they try a little quarterback draw, and the blitz gets them. They only get a yard or two. It's Rocky Calmus coming off the edge. Here they are trying the quarterback draw, and we tackle Lindsey for a couple yards. Third down play coming up. Third and long, and we come with another blitz, and they try the same little dunk pass to the tight end, and we defend it well and force another punt. Fourth and nine at R34, and they're punting. Nice job there by Mike Woods keeping their defender away from knocking he, down in that ball at the yeah. one. He shoves the guy out of the way, and the ball goes in the end zone. It's a little big, thing, isn't it? Oh, it's a big play by Mike Woods. What a run there by Quentin. You see that? You watch this, and blocked well, but they have a defender that gets off a block here. That's Kenyatta Wright. He runs right through him. There's a freshman running through a senior. Gets the ball upfield for a 10-yard pickup. That's a heck of a run by Quentin. Looks like that was Quentin's home on that play. Yeah, he just sort of ran right through him right there, and uh, big, big pickup on his part. Big first down. Huge. There you go. We stick it up again. Quentin could pop some runs, so we're going to stay with them and keep sticking the ball at him, see if we can't come up with something. And 
Here we tried a, an under right there to, to Brandon Daniels and had so many people stuck up inside that they knocked it down and anyway forced us to punt again. Again, nice high punt. Gives our coverage time to close on him, and Chris Hammonds makes a nice tackle. And, and again, there's a guy that has a great return yardage throughout the year, and uh, he has five returns for, I don't know, maybe uh, 15 yards or 16 yards, and great coverage. Second and one. We come with the blitz there off the corner. I think they pick up the first. Correct. Here they come with another option. And we play the quarterback and the pitch, and they, uh, Mike Woods did an excellent job there, and they only pick up a one or two yards. Second down play. Come with the blitz off the corner, and uh, well, we knew they liked to the boot and sprint to the field there, and here we come with a couple people off the edge. There's Roger Steffen, and then Jeremy Wilson Guest coming up there and making the sack, and uh, big play on third down. They incompleted, uh, had an incompletion, so they're punting. Jarrell Jackson again fielding the punt. And again, they do a nice job covering right there. And uh, anyway, we still have good field sure. position. Second down and 10 here, Bob. Little shovel pass there to Brandon Daniels. He does a nice job getting it upfield. First down play. Go to a screen play to Brandon. And we're really close to popping one or two of those screens and just to play a uh, block or two away. Second and nine. Go deep here to Brandon Daniels. He makes an excellent catch, diving catch, and I don't know. They call, they call offensive pass interference, and it's just a terrible call. Brandon Daniels makes an excellent catch. Beats their defender, dives and catches the ball, and and they're going to call. They're going to wave that off, and uh, that's just a crime when a guy makes a play like that. But you know those referees. I guess they try, but uh, they make mistakes. So we have a second and 24 here. There's Quentin Griffin with a nice little pass, swing pass out to the flat and gets it upfield for all we can, but we're still short. We're after a sack, we're fourth and down here. Penalties hurt us, you know that. They call offensive pass interference and back us up 15 yards. That's hard to overcome. Okay, a big fourth quarter coming up, folks. We'll be right back. Begin the fourth quarter, third and 19 for Oklahoma State. They're third and 19, and they get into ninja formation. But we blitz it, and there's Corey Heineke picking the ball off. So uh, you can bet we've seen that formation before, and they've tried to defend it a few times. So it was fun for us, actually, on defense to see the ninja formation. They tried it, and we got great pressure and dropped Corey Heineke off and uh, fixed the ball off. So that was a perfect play on third and 19 and gave us great field position going in for our offense. What a great way to start the fourth quarter. We pick it up second and 12. Got the ball inside their 40. Fake again to draw play and get the ball there. To Antoine Savage makes one of their guys miss and gets the ball upfield, I believe, for a first down. Correct. First attempt. Josh does a nice job waiting for the play to develop, finding the hole to get it to. And nice, nice running by Antoine to find the open seam and get the ball up for a first down. We're going to hand the ball off there to... Reggie Skinner, I believe, up inside, and he does a nice job getting some yards. And on a fourth and one, after we're, we come a little short, we're going to kick a field goal. Tim did a nice job, made all his extra points, put this field goal right through the middle, and got us up 24-7. So it's a good field goal there by Tim. Poor kickoff and sort of line drive. But, uh, you know, they still very good coverage on, on our part. And we get the ball just out to the 20. First and 10. They try a little handoff reverse, and we had a blitz off the corner, and he was looking for it and uh, gets him for about a minus five. Again, really good pressure off the edge, and great defense by William Barty comes up and almost intercepted the out route. They have a third and 20 after a delay of game. They try a lead draw. Get, just get a couple of yards and uh, force another punt. Elder about punt this one 37 yards. Again, just close to close to popping that, but still great field position to give our offense the ball at the 43-yard line going in. We had a little handoff reverse there to Brandon Daniels. He makes a couple of their guys miss and gets it upfield for about five yards. 
Second down play. Throw another screen pass there to Curtis Fagan. Third and one. Here we hand the ball to Stocker McDougal. Look at him plow over their guy and get the first down. That was fun. We wanted to have our, we've been working that a couple of times, and our guys, our whole sidelines were all charged <laughs> up to see Stocker get the ball. And Look at we, this. <laughs> we figured let him have some fun. Boy, he's about 335 pounds a man. He doesn't have a bit of fat on him, and he just runs their guy over for a first down, and that's what we figured would happen. There's, figured there's one guy you don't have to block. Stocker would block him for himself, probably. <laughs> He's so big and strong, so uh, that was fun. Our guys got a kick out of that. That's an offensive lineman's dream, isn't it? Sure is. So he, uh, he was so excited coming off the sideline, he didn't know what to do. First and ten. He would try a nice little shovel pass there to Quentin. He gets the ball upfield for about uh, eight or nine yards. Shovel pass. He runs so low to the ground. He does. Makes people miss him. Here's a third and two play. Hand the ball. Seth saw the cut back and just slipped a little bit. Couldn't get to it, so. First and goal. Hand the ball there again to Seth. I believe we had a personal foul. Is that how we got the first and ten? Or? Yes. And... Again, trying to stick it up in there, and they stuff it pretty well. And Here we are. Here we hand a little hand sweep play, and we're close to popping it, but they do a nice job tackle us. And here you have Stalker in again. And they're looking for Stalker to get the ball, and we sort of fake it to him, and Josh does a nice job of faking and just falling in. So that was a big play. And I'll tell you, that sort of got things over the edge for sure, and they couldn't wait to tackle Stalker on that play, and they're... They all thought the play was over, and Josh just did a nice job of faking and keeping the ball and sticks it in the end zone. Fun stuff, and more importantly, we score. Another big score, and uh, puts us up 31-7. to That's a pretty good lead there in the fourth quarter. Plus, Bob, it was a 10-play drive, and you ate up some clock. Oh, absolutely. We ran the ball well and kept mushing it, and... Uh, like you said, 10 plays, you ate, ate up the clock, and still scored uh, points. That's as, that's as good, you know, that's what you want to do. Here they try a quarterback draw, and we close on it really well. They get a few yards, keep the ball in bounds, keep the clock moving. Second down play. Same thing. They run the ball up inside, get a first down, but at this point, you'll have that happen all afternoon, right? Sure. They're going to run the ball. That's what we want them to do is eat the clock up. Keep the clock moving. But second and eight here. Second and eight. Mike Woods, they just had miscommunication, and Mike saw the play and broke on it. Great play. Happy for Mike. He's played as well as anybody I've seen the corner all year, and it's great for him as a senior to see him in the fourth quarter. Intercept the ball and have some fun running down the sideline for a touchdown. He's played with that broken thumb since, what, Texas? He has, and uh, he's played excellent the entire year. Great cover guy and great leader made big plays the whole year and uh, that's exciting to see him uh, for me that may have been my favorite play of the game so really him going for a touchdown well that's a moment uh, you talk about great moments for players that's one he'll never forget as a senior sure. at Oklahoma like I said he's he's been solid he's been as good as he is uh, all year and glad to see him with that play there in the fourth quarter we're not done yet, folks. Don't, don't go away. Great coverage again inside the 20. We pin them, and Josh Norman there with the tackle. First and 10. They're going to run some more. and Got a few guys in there. That's Anthony Davis, another senior in there at linebacker making the tackle. And Rodney Rideau and Jason Joseph coming up making the hit. Second and six. And here's a little counter play. Again, Jason Joseph... Uh, Senior in there making a good tackle. Third and three. Here we come with the blitz, and he gets outside and able to pick up the first down running on us. So Oklahoma State has a first and ten at the 48. Throw the ball down the middle, and Rodney just misses it. Nice breakup, though, by Rodney Rideau. Second down. Here they try another quarterback draw, sort of a counter play, and really well defended by our defense. Third and 13. Here we come with the blitz again off the edge and good pressure. 
Force a bad throw, and Mike Woods almost had his third interception. Just, uh, just went through his hands, and that's tough to do with the cast yeah. to catch the ball. So fourth down, Elder punts, and look at this. You know, we did, told JT not to even field the kick. We had a punt safe unit in the game. We weren't even trying to return it. And uh, JT broke a couple tackles and went all the way. You see him here dive in the end zone, and good for him. Uh, okay. Okay. He's playing to the whistle, playing as hard as he can, and see the guys here get him started. Makes a guy miss him right there, spins out of a couple tackles. And then he got clear sailing after that. So, uh... Here you see Chaika Zumba, I believe, going down there trying to get a block. And Mike Woods, you see right here, is going to help escort him in the end zone. Good effort by JT there. Tremendous the effort. In. Tremendous effort. And here's our uh, instant replay, too, here, Bob. Yeah, you, you can see this, this is one. right in the middle of the, the punt exactly. return. I, here I am trying to watch the punt return, trying to shake off the cold. So uh, they didn't even allow me to enjoy the, the punt return. But uh, <laughs> you got to let them have some fun with the head ball coach, I oh, guess. Yeah, that's, a, that's amazing. We're shooting that shot, and we're seeing JT run around the back side for a touchdown. We got to work on our players' timing with it. They're going to get me with the ice bucket. They need to wait a little longer. <laughs> so Oklahoma wins, 44 to seven. Bob, it's got to be a relief for you here. The Jackie Ship hugging you there. It's got to be a relief. You've you've gone through 11 games. You've had ups. You've had downs. But overall, it has been a great year for the Sooners. It's been a good year. Good Steve, year. We'll reserve that great for okay. championship teams and and things of that nature. And this school has had plenty of those. And and that's what you shoot for, and that's what we want. So it's been a good start. Uh, it's still, we haven't been here an entire year yet. And we've made good progress in every part of the game, offense, defensively, and in special teams. And, and we're going to continue to build, and that's what we intend to do. So it's, it is a good start uh, leading into the recruiting season. It's good for our seniors. They deserve to be in a bowl game. So there's a lot of positives, and we intend to build on them. Bob, at home this year, in the first half, Oklahoma has outscored its opponents on an average of 21 to 3. Second half, 23 points to 1 point for 44 to 4 on an average at home. And you're talking about Texas A&M coming in here, Oklahoma State. I mean, you know, it's not like they have been easy games, but what domination at home? We've got a great crowd. We appreciate their support. Our players have been ready and focused, uh, obviously, at home. And, mm -hmm. and we need to be able to bring that on the road with this. And we have at times, but uh, we need to be consistent with it. And that's what we want to do is certainly build the team where we play the same way all the time, wherever we're at. And that's what we're pushing for. And I, I believe going to a bowl game, being able to practice another month to build our team, as well as leading into, you know, leading into spring ball, those, that, that'll help us. And uh, we're just going to continue to get stronger, hopefully. And what a great thing to be able to show recruits. You come here, you get to play uh, you know, a sold-out crowd every time you come at home. Oh, 75,000. Sure. No question, playing on grass, beautiful stadium. You look up at the press box and you see all the championships, the conference championships and six national championships. You see a sold-out crowd every, every game. It is exciting. and We've had great reception from our recruits that have been at games. They realize that, and they're excited to be here. Okay, well, we're excited about showing you this play of the game from Greg Kerr. Thank you, Steve. The Sooner play of the game coming on the first possession of the third quarter. Oklahoma only leading Oklahoma State 14-7. But the Sooners decide they want to try to air it out. And it works because it left Curtis Fagan with one-on-one -on -one coverage on the left side. Oklahoma State decided they wanted to blitz. The Sooner offensive line picked it up. Josh Heifel had plenty of time to pass, and he did it very well, hitting Curtis Fagan in stride for a 73-yard touchdown pass. Oklahoma led 21-7 and never looked back. Heifel backs up, blitzes on. Sooners pick it up beautifully. Long pass down the middle. Has a man. Caught the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20. Greg Kerr joins us, and this is sort of fun. We don't know who the opponent's going to be, but we do know we'll have an opponent. That is exciting. And, you know, they're talking about the Alamo Bowl with the possibility of Penn State going there. They are in the Nittany Lions. And, Coach, you know, you look at that also, maybe the Tucson situation where Boston College is penciled in there. With the time in between now of the bowl game and the last game of the year, do you, with maybe a little bit of curiosity, maybe look at tapes of Penn State 
and or Boston College not really knowing where you're going? Uh, we'll probably wait until we know for sure where we're going. Uh, we've got a lot to do recruiting-wise. Uh, we'll give our players a few days off and, uh, and then work on, uh, work on them being in the weight room and trying to build themselves up physically here for a week or two. So we'll wait until we know for sure what, uh, for sure what we're going to do. And before we start breaking, uh, breaking them down and looking at them too much and uh, allow our coaches to get out and recruit hard this week. And uh, we've got a major recruiting weekend coming up this weekend and get a big jump on recruiting, hopefully. So obviously no downtime for you. No, uh, <laughs> we'll be out hard this week, uh, you know, the entire week recruiting. And again, our players will be in the, uh, in the weight room uh, working with our strength coaches, uh, building themselves up uh, after a tough year. Coach, you went 7-4 this year. I know you wanted to, to do a little bit better than that, but uh, as we spoke last week, I'm sure there's not a fan out there that's not happy with 7-4. With and four. Uh, You mentioned yesterday during your, your post-game chat with the media that uh, you wish you could have a few of those back. Which games would you like to have back, and what might you have done differently? Any of the four we lost, I'll take back and try again, if, if they'd allow me. But uh, that's not the case, and I realize that. But uh, I, just, I just believe uh, we're a better team now than we were early in the year. And uh, in, in feeling a few of those games, we didn't play as well as we were capable of. But I'm never going to take, take away from a team that defeats us. They deserve the credit. They beat us, and they made the plays that they needed to make. And we need to be better to be able to combat that. So uh, hopefully we'll improve. And uh, at least we get a month or so here uh, before a bowl game to try and do that even before leading into next year. Now, Steve, you mentioned earlier in the, in the uh, telecast about uh, – the point situation here at home, the differential and all that. And I haven't been around Oklahoma football this deep that long. But, Coach, you, this season at home, you gave up one defensive touchdown. I believe it was to Baylor. And the rest of the time, it's been either field goals or you gave up the offensive touchdown yesterday. That is amazing. It, it shows you what we're capable of. It shows you our defense is solid. And we've made great improvement from a year ago. And, and I've stressed all along. Our scoring defense is what's really critical, and, and our scoring defense has come down this year and has, has really played well. And, and again, like I said, here's the Oklahoma State team that a year ago scored 41 points on us, and to shut them out this year is a big difference, and it was a big part of that game. I really believe our, our defense and our special teams was the story of that game. And uh, so uh, anyway, it shows you the improvement we're making in all areas and that we can, need to continue to make and believe we will. And Bob, before we go, what about those seniors? It was great for them to go out with a successful game and, and playing the way they did. They deserve it. Uh, we appreciate them as a staff, and I know I do as a head coach, the way they've embraced us, uh, embraced our philosophies right away, and uh, have made a difference in leading our team and to success. And, uh, again, I, I can't thank them enough, and uh, it's good to see them go out with a great win. And we'd like to thank this great crew. We have Mark Stallings and all the guys. I can't mention them all, but... They provide us a lot of great pictures this year. They do a great job, and thank you to them. Okay, Greg, thank you. Hey, you're more than welcome. Had a good time. Bowl game to come. That means a bowl show to come. Check your listings. We'll be back. See you then. has been a Sooner Vision presentation in cooperation with Sooner Sports Properties. <laughs>